Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss about some questions of CSUM Domain 1. In this particular series, I'm going to explain you how to think like a manager, how to understand the keyword and how the keyword can basically change the options. This is basically Domain 1 questions and if you're new to the channel, do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss the future videos on a similar topic because I'm planning to launch more videos on CSUM, which is like domain 2, 3, 4. My name is Prab Nair, and for more information, you can check my LinkedIn profile. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Thank you. Okay, if you read the question carefully, it say you joined as a security manager in the organization. You are responsible for building a security function in the organization which of the following would be the first step in creating an information security strategy for an organization. Now, if you read the, if you see the question, the question has a keyword called first. It means question talking about sequence. Question talking about sequence, like, you know, what come next? So if I'm joining as an information security officer, any company before building anything, I need to understand the environment and everything. That is my goal because they are in a process of creating. They have not created yet. Another part is called present tense. So let's go by the option conducting a risk assessment, but conducting a risk assessment against what? Because to conduct a risk assessment, we need information. Directly implementing access control without knowing what is a business does not make sense. Understanding of business requirement makes sense because it is very important to know how the company works, what is the vision and mission makes sense. And last is basically called as a gap assessment. Before doing a gap gap assessment, I should know where, what is the requirement we have, what is currently we have, and against that we do assessment. And we are still in a stage of first step. So if you're going by the process called sequence and think like a manager, because manager role is not to implement anything. So be definitely removed. And let me first explain you, you know, how the manager or information security manager think in a Isaka point of view. So every organization basically have a strategic plan. Then we have a tactical plan and then we have an operation plan. So security manager is basically work on a tactical side. He understand the strategy, he understand the requirement and based on that, he prepared the solution and then he get it implement the solution in an operation level, but he itself doesn't implement. So in the Isaka CSUM syllabus, you have to think from this perspective where you are act like a subject matter expert from a strategic people to make them understand about what is information security. And you are the subject matter expert for the operation team where you're going to explain why business is important for the information security. Now in this question, as I said, they are building a security function, which is a present tense. Second, the question talking about first step. Third, they are in a process of creating a strategy. They have not created a strategy yet. So whenever we're creating a strategy, the first thing we need to understand the business requirement. So if you go by the sequence, the sequence is like that vision, mission, business requirement, which include legal regulatory and customer based on that, we create an information security strategy based on information security strategy. We create an information security policy, and then we creating an information security program. If I join the company, they already have this, they already have this, and they already have this. The first thing I will do the gap assessment but I really need this information. And in this stage, they're talking about the first step. So for me, the closed option look like answer is C for Charlie, because without understanding a business requirement, you cannot go by D, you cannot go by B, you cannot go by A. Okay, so this is how the elimination has been done. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Thank you. Very good question. You, you join as a security manager, past tense in the organization, makes sense. You are responsible for building a security strategy in the organization. So we are building a security function in the organization. You have developed the security plan past tense and need to show to the management for approval. What can be the best way to get the management attention on same. Now, whenever in the exam or whenever in the question talking about best, it mean we talking about the issues to fix. Okay. The most important sponsorship, but the best way to convey that's the most important element we have. So best is a factor which used to fix the particular situation. So they want a best way to get the management attention. So this is basically the scope of the question. What is the best way? 
ऑप्शन है इंटीग्रेट द सिक्योरिटी इनिशिएटिव विद द रिस्क विद द ऑपरेशन डज नॉट मेक सेंस बिकॉज इफ यू इंटीग्रेटिंग सिक्योरिटी इनिशिएट विद ऑपरेशन वट अबाउट बिजनेस ऑब्जेक्टिव यू जस्ट फॉलोइंग द बॉटम टॉप एक्सरसाइज विज डज नॉट मेक सेंस यू मीन टू से दैट वी हैव टू इंट्रोड्यूस फायर वर्ल्ड टू मेंटेन द सिक्योरिटी और वी हैव वी हैव टू इंट्रोड्यूस अ फायर वर्ल्ड सो दैट वी कैन एबल टू प्रोटेक्ट द बिजनेस सो हायर चांसेस आर देयर if that particular initiative map with the business function but here it map with the operation that is why we eliminating a option second is integrate security initiatives with the risk with the competitor business does not make sense i am doing a risk management for my company not for the other competitor third evaluate the organization against the best security practice again it is a voluntary i want a i want to evaluate the organization against the risk and business objective so only close option look like d integrate security initiative with the risk with business objective any kind of an initiative you are introducing in the organization it must be aligned with the business function so this is the exam tip this is the important tip if you introducing a information security strategy if you introducing a policy if you introducing a matrix a good way to measure the effectiveness is that it must be tied with the business objective so any question the exam talking about aligning comply and all that it must be mapped with the business objective that's why the answer is d for delta let's move to the next coffee shot thank you okay next question what is the most now if in the exam the question talking most it mean most mean mandatory most basically mean mandatory without that nothing can be possible so what is the most relevant role for a senior management in supporting the information security in the enterprise so here we have to split the question into three part most is a keyword it means there's no alternate role we talking about okay for a senior management to support the information security implementing a policy is not a role of security uh, senior management is a role of a ciso so a removed approval of all the initiative makes sense review the outcome makes sense and conduct the bia is a role of a security officer so we left with b and c now we have to sele select that option without uh, you know without that nothing is possible so if you go by the review of the outcome that is also required but without approval of any initiative there's no point of reviewing the outcome so if we close between two without b the c cannot be achieved so in this case i will go with the answer b for beta because approval is basically required from the all the initiatives let's move to the next coffee shot thank you okay next question the information security manager has been asked to investigate if access control measures are suitable for certain application which of the following documents is the best to review about access control mechanism now three keywords are there in the question the first keyword is basically measure by which we checking suitable for the certain applications okay and second keyword is review about access control mechanism option a regulatory so if you go by the sequence regulatory here based on that we have a business requirement then we create a policy and then we basically implement the control so question say which of the following document is best to review actually it's s document not documents best to review about access control mechanism implementation definitely regulatory requirement need to be review but it will be the answer in the case of most because most is mandatory but question is not talking most we talking best best mean in order to fix the particular thing or in order to introduce something what is the best document to meet the requirement so most in the case will go with the a or b so a and b removed data classification policy is one of the aspect we talk about data class data data function or data category but question specifically talking about access control it must be based on the information security policy so i will go with the answer called information security policy because that capture the intent of the people intent of the initiatives let's move to the next coffee shot thank you okay this question is more on a gap assessment because i have seen lot of people get confused with the gap assessment and risk assessment enterprise must comply with gdpr provision okay compliance at potentially higher enactment cost what should the information security manager do first enterprise must comply it mean the first keyword is must which is mandatory to comply with gdpr provision compliance that potentially has a high enactment cost expensive cost what should be the information security manager do first implement the security committee there's no point of implementing security committee that is removed build a gdpr policy makes sense but might be they have a policy in place i'm assuming or if they don't have still we can consider b 
risk assessment we have to do again something but right now we are in a first stage so instead of starting from zero the first thing we do the gap assessment so i have seen a lot of people always get confused between when to do gap assessment and when to do when to do risk assessment risk assessment is done against some requirement to identify risk and impact but whenever we start implementing something we need to understand what they already have and what we need to achieve so example like i am implementing a firewall i cannot directly do the assessment of firewall to identify risk but i need to understand what is the current firewall strength we have okay and what we need to implement as per the function and then between that we do the gap assessment and the results are basically used for risk assessment the question is already saying enterprise must comply with gdpr provision compliance that potentially has a high enactment cost what should the information security manager do so i am going with the answer d first because it's not necessary i have to start from zero i will first do the gap assessment to identify what we have and what we need to achieve then on those requirement i do risk assessment to identify possible risk and according to that i will introduce the controls and everything so in this case answer is basically b so always remember whenever any question talking about first step from implementation point of view always remember gap assessment is the first thing we have to do because it's a common practice let's move to the next question an assessment team has identified significant weakness over the financial processing system which of the following should information security manager use to best convey the sense of urgency to management now here the keyword is question document best second important thing the team has already identified it mean they have already done this activity in past the so question is already talk about past tense and the question saying that assessment team has identified significant weakness over the financial processing system and which of the following should the information security manager use to convey best to convey sense of emergency option a user access right but that is more like a control risk assessment makes sense bia is only talk about business impact and return on security investment report is talk about the outcome of mitigation so bia is basically part of the risk assessment because with the help of risk assessment we can identify the impact if we have a financial application 1 and financial application 2 and both are basically has been assessed further we do the risk assessment against that to identify the level of risk and over the business impact so bia is basically part of the risk assessment so whenever we need to shortlist something the first thing we need to convey by the risk assessment report risk assessment is a driving factor for anything which include my bia function that's why the answer is b for beta let's move to the next question you join as a security manager in the organization you are responsible for building a security function in the organization you are in the process of building a security program which of the following is the most important to the success of information security program it means strategy has been created and we are in a process of building a program question talking about most it mean mandatory question talking about something like a sponsorship so open a option a open communication we key process owner we can only guide them option b senior management sponsorship definitely required approval of policy definitely required because if you want to implement the program we need approval policy risk assessment will be done during a program implementation so d removed and a removed now we left with b and c questions saying the process of building a security program which of the following is the most important to the success of information security program just imagine that okay program is already approved even for policy approval we need a sponsorship so a c is basically part of the b so let's go by the answer b for beta because always remember any kind of initiatives we have in the system it must be approved required from the top down approach let's move to the next question thank you you join as a security manager in the organization you are responsible for building a security policy so here the scope is security policy for an organization why to bring the uniformity makes sense what is the most essential thing to be contained in the information security policy now this is a question which talk about scoping so we have to select that answer which is cover under the policy not an outcome example like what is a step in the risk management option a identifying risk and mitigating to an acceptable level so mitigating an acceptable level is an outcome it is not a input so question is talking about scoping it mean what is consist question talking about the most which is mandatory option a risk matrix we never have a risk matrix in the policies security process we have but it is not very specifically defined third is key objective of security program definitely based on a security program we creating a security policy or vice versa first we creating a security policy which is add in the program 
So whenever we implement anything, your security policy is a governance function. So your policy basically includes the key security objective of the security program. So I can still park the C option. D say effective roles and function. Uh, it is good to have, okay, but we don't add the role and function uh, primarily in the policy. Very few policies have a role and function, okay. So let's park D also. So at least we remove A. So we left with B, C and D. Security process is very high level. So it is a procedure document. So B is also removed. So we left with C and D. Both are required, but the most important thing is that your program objectives. Because if you want to implement the program in the organization, you need to add that in a policy. And that is how you can able to implement the things in the systems. Let's take example, you want to implement the change management system in the organization. So you introduce a policy in which you address the objectives. And that is how you can implement the program in the organization. So that is why the good policy include the key objective of the security program. So this is all from my side. Do let me know how do you find the series? Shall I make the video on domain two? I will wait for your feedback in a comment box. And if you still not subscribe to the channel, click on the subscribe button so that you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss the future videos on a similar topic. And thank you, Gladiator, to watching this video. Stay tuned, stay learning. Bye.